Am I the asshole? For telling someone she shouldn't be in public? I'm an addict who is currently trying to get sober, I was recently having coffee in the outdoor seating area of a shop with my friend when she asked me how my recovery is going. I was honest and said it hasn't been great and there's been plenty of relapses, and we were having a conversation about it when the woman from two tables down comes up and asks us to stop talking about this issue as her cousin I presume the lady with her was an ex-addict and it was triggering. She also asked that if I've used in the last 24 hours to please leave a that would be triggering to her cousin too. I told her I was sorry I was upsetting her cousin but if she's that fragile then she shouldn't be out in public, and especially not in a place where we can see someone who was clearly strung out on the street. She got angry with me, told me her cousin relapses after three years then it's my fault, took her cousin and left. My friend told me shouldn't have been so flippant about it and I've probably upset the woman. She thinks I was a bit of an ass and should have just apologized and shit up. Not the asshole. If a conversation among strangers at another table is going to trigger a relapse after three years of sobriety, then the relapse was going to happen anyway. Not the asshole. I'm an alcoholic in recovery. Their recovery is their responsibility. Congrats on you for standing up for yourself. One day at a time OP and hit meeting every day. You got this. Not the asshole. I have read more times than I can count that people seeking recovery have to get comfortable being around discussions and even other people using say, an alcoholic in recovery needing to be able to be present where people are drinking without having trouble. They can't just go to a place and demand that nobody around them discuss it. The only thing I'm wondering is if you were much louder than you thought because someone two tables down really shouldn't be able to hear your conversation. But anyway. Not the asshole. You're right if the person is that fragile, they need to be in an inpatient rehab facility. Someone who wants to use will find an excuse, so even if you become that lady's cousin's excuse, it's still not on you. That woman was completely unrealistic asking that of you or anyone. Not the asshole. Other lady was absolutely out of line. Best of lucky with your recovery, I am hoping for the best for you. Not the asshole. People are unreal. If she was bothered by your conversation she should have moved herself. It's not your responsibility to prevent her cousin from relapsing. Not the asshole. Lady should learn to not listen in on others' conversations if she's so easily triggered. Not the asshole. You're completely right. If just being out in public is going to be triggering, she needs to be locked away in a closet to ensure her safety. Or maybe she could cope and tough it out like everyone else has to. But that wouldn't make her as special, so I see why she doesn't. If you don't want to be triggered, don't listen to other people's conversations. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Is it possible that the conversation was genuinely triggering for the cousin? Sure, though it sounds like the exact kind of conversation she'd hear at NA. Perhaps you could have stopped talking about it out of caution, but equally the woman doesn't know whether you need to talk about it. The request that you should leave if you'd used within 24 hours is outright ridiculous, though. What would change for them by knowing that when they obviously couldn't tell? Not the asshole, obviously. Not the asshole. This idea of being triggered is getting ridiculous. It's being used far too much and now it's been watered down to anything someone doesn't want to hear that may make them uncomfortable. It isn't the public's job or responsibility to protect you from what bothers you. You were correct, if that many things trigger her cousin, then maybe she shouldn't be out in public. The nerve that woman had to even suggest these things makes her an asshole. Note our boundaries are for ourselves not others, that person was free to leave and had no right to tell you to leave. Not the asshole. Nothing you said was incorrect, I would have insisted that woman mind her business and stop listening to others' conversations. I personally tend to try to be a bit more delicate with obviously crazy people like that, because sometimes a bit of empathy can go a long way. But it's not your responsibility. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. 
You replied the right words, couldn't do it better myself. Stay strong. Not the asshole. Lady S. Cousin's triggers may not be her fault but they are, to some extent, her responsibility. Ultimately, overhearing other people's conversations is part and parcel of being out in public for any length of time. Not the asshole. Told me her cousin relapses after three years then it's my fault. You should have told the R to learn about addiction because that's not how it works. If the cousin is that fragile, then perhaps she needs to be in a rehab. Tell them the non-triggering section is indoors. Now that would be flippant. No, you should not have just apologized. That woman had no right to come up to you and try to censor your conversation. If she or her friend had a problem with it, they were free to leave. They don't get to tell you what you can and can't talk about with your friend in a public space. You were 100 correct. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. That lady is entitled and crazy. Good luck to you. You can do it. Keep working hard. Not the asshole. It's each person's own individual responsibility.